What's going on YouTube? Gios now right here. So in today's video I have some interesting news for those of you waiting for a jailbreak on A12 and of course for those of you who want to downgrade to iOS 12.1.1 Beta 3. So the first updates are coming from Pound Own, who posted this in here just a few days ago. He said Uncover version 3.0.0 Beta 44 is now out with partial support for A12 and A12X devices. Now the reason I didn't make a video quicker on this is because this is partial support, not full support for the A12 devices, which means that there is no Cydia and there is no Cydia substrate for the moment. Now if you go here to the releases, you can actually get the IPA, but there has been another update since then and he posted quote, Uncover version 3.0.0 beta 45 was released to fix the voucher swap exploit for beta firmwares on A12 and A12X. So what the partial support means? Well, if you go ahead in here on the releases, it enables everything in here. So logging the ACID, disabling the auto updates, remounting the root file system, disabling the app revokes, restore rootfs if it's necessary and so on, but there is no Cydia and there is no substrate for the moment and therefore you will not be able to install tweaks. Now of course tweaks will come in the future but for the moment he is pretty much toying with the A12 and A12X support and of course way more work is needed. Now as I said this is only partial support which means that it's still a long way before we're going to see a full support for A12 with tweaks and of course with Cydia. Now if you're interested in downgrading to iOS 12.1 beta 3. As you probably know, Apple is still fluctuating in here with the signing status and they still do sign and unsign at random times various devices. As you can see, currently some iPads are still signed in here but no iPhones. So this is actually fluctuating quite a lot. It changes during the day and of course random devices become signed or unsigned at random times. So yeah, it's really unreliable if you want to downgrade but there are methods to pretty much capture the blobs and I would definitely definitely recommend you to go ahead and save the blobs with TSS Saver by one con in here at tssaver.onecon.com to just have a backup of them in case you want to downgrade in the future. However, as you can see, while we were talking, the iPhone 10.2 and 10.3 became signed and the same thing goes for the iPhone 9.3 and 9.4. So yeah, it's actually fluctuating quite a lot. So if you want to downgrade to 12.1.1 beta 3, you may still be able to do so. However, because it changes quite a lot you may get stuck at some point during the restore and some people even had problems activating the device you know iCloud activation after they downgraded to 12.1.1 beta 3 so yeah you should definitely calculate your risk in there anyways you should definitely save your blobs in here just in case so that you have them in the future and you will be able to downgrade when an onsetter is created so yeah, this is pretty much it guys thank you for watching do not forget to subscribe to stay updated i am geosnow until the next time peace out out.